Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 25. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about easy, quick cash for the tech-savvy person. Now, I'm not talking about people who are computer programmers or super proficient with computers, but you've got to be proficient enough that you can navigate your way around, that you're comfortable with computers, and, um, you know, just be good enough. What you're going to learn today are easy ways to get cash, simple talents for big bucks, and new websites that you might not be familiar with for making money. So this is kind of fun for me because years ago when I was in the corporate world, I was not a tech-savvy person at all. My job was more marketing and sales. I was constantly talking to people and traveling and communicating and doing public speaking. And I was not the one in the office doing the computer stuff. I had, you know, people that worked with me that did that, thank goodness. And they were very good at it. And that was not my strength. But After I left the corporate world and I got my own Mac, I became a lot more comfortable with the computer. It just seemed a lot more intuitive. It uh, was easier for me to understand what to do. It just was, it didn't seem like it was written by someone who was such a programmer and I didn't have to become a programmer to learn how to use it. It was just really a lot easier for me. So I'm a total Mac convert. I love my Mac. I will never go back to a PC. So whatever your computer is, it doesn't matter, but I just want you to be proficient enough. And if you're not proficient right now, maybe you're like me and you'll have a Mac and you'll get more proficient. But either way, I just want to go through some interesting ways to make money now if you're a little bit tech savvy. You don't have to be super tech savvy, just a little tech savvy. All right. So here are some fun places that you may or may not be familiar with online. So there is a website called TaskRabbit, TaskRabbit, T like Tom, A-S-K-R-A-B-B-I-T, like the bunny, TaskRabbit. Now this is for uh, certain neighborhoods, and you can, in the larger cities, you can put in different uh, tasks that you can do, or you can be the person that that wants a person to do a task like house cleaning or a handyman, make deliveries, do some office help or some shopping. So you put the task in and what you'll pay for it and then people who are the task rabbits can make income by uh, doing the job and they will uh, have a background check on them And they start with kind of small things, and then they work their way up to having more responsibility as they become more reliable and more known. But they do all have background checks, which is uh, imperative. And uh, so you can get your little things done, or if you want to make some extra cash, you can walk people's dogs or do house cleaning or be the handyman or whatever, and you can make some extra cash. So taskrabbit.com. Another website that can get you started on things online would be Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E, like the number five, and then two R's at the end, R-R, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And what Fiverr is, is a website where people will pay $5 for any task. Now, that sounds crazy, I know. You're not going to do a lot of work for $5, of course. But it does get your foot in the door, and a lot of people will go over, maybe look for a logo or something on Photoshop. You can do a little work for them, and then you might get a big project from them. And that's been a very successful way for people to meet new business people um, and for people to make some extra cash. So Fiverr.com 
It's $5 per task. You can put up what task you'll do for $5. So think of something you could do online for them um, or something that could be sent in the mail to them or whatever it is that, that uh, you know, just browse the website, see what other people are offering, see if there's something there that you can do. And then you can put up your own little ad to have people pay you $5 for your task and get your foot in the door for much bigger bucks. Another website is called elance.com, kind of like freelance, only elance, E-L-A-N-C-E.com. And elance is a little bit more techy, but they do have along with programmers and developers and web designers, they do have like writers and marketers and things like that as well. So you can check out elance.com and see what they've got going on over there. You can state your rate that you will do a project for. Um, you can, you know, bid on things. People can, can uh, talk with you about what your design would be and things like that. And then you can negotiate your rate so it's, it's a great place for people who can help business people and, again, just have steady work as a freelancer. There's lots of people over on Elance that that's their whole business is just to get clients through Elance. And then, um, of course, they pay a percentage to Elance for the business, but a lot of people make their living that way. So you can get some really good jobs, especially if you're really tech savvy. That's a good place for you. And another one is Odesk, O-D-E-S-K. Again, you state your rate. You can have big or small jobs. You can have short or ongoing duration of the job. You pay Odesk 10% of what you make. And um, for a more tech-savvy you know, individual, that's another good place. Although, you know, they need writers and marketers and things too. So just go and check out what people are doing. See if you have the skills that might be something you could advertise over there. And if you're a tech savvy person, that could be another way for you to make some cash. Another website is called Etsy, E-T-S-Y. Etsy is more of an arts and crafts kind of a website. I found Etsy um, sort of by accident, but I was looking for some draperies and I found the exact fabric that I wanted and the exact draperies that I wanted. And they were able to make me custom drapes, drape panels for my windows and um, sew them for me and then mail them to me. And so if you're a sewer or an arts and crafts person. I have a friend that makes these fabulous copper fountains and that would be a perfect thing to advertise on Etsy because you can put a beautiful photograph of it. You don't have to make them until someone orders one, but then you can go out and make it and, you know, make a nice profit on it. So if you are really into Christmas decorations and you, you're crafty with that, uh, if you're a sewer, if you are a jewelry maker, there's all kinds of beautiful arts and crafts. So if you're a person that's really into arts and crafts, you can actually start making some cash for it, put some beautiful photos over there and see what people buy before you invest in the inventory. Just make one and then see if you get some orders for that. So that's a great place for people who are more talented for arts and crafts. You have to have a little bit of technical knowledge to be able to negotiate the website and just be able to, you know, handle enough technology to be able to post pictures and descriptions and things like that. But that's pretty easy stuff. So, um, in fact, you probably could hire somebody over on Fiverr <laughs> to do that for you and pay them five bucks. So, um you know, there's some different things that you can do. It might cost a little bit more than that. But anyway, you get my drift that you might even be able to find some cheap labor to help you get your Etsy uh, site set up. And finally, there is an automatic uh, seller. It's like a ready-made store called Shopify. S-H-O-P-I-F-Y dot com. So it's like a ready-made store. They already take care of the e-commerce and collecting the money, how to collect the money so you don't have to do that separately. And they sell things like clothing and books, electronics, crafts. 
things like that. So at Shopify, the nice thing is you don't have to build the big website. You don't have to, you know, do all of the things to attract traffic, to uh, build a list, which I still recommend that you build a list. But initially getting off the ground, this would be a really easy way just to boom, have a store, have a presence online. And if you had a product to sell, this would be a really easy way to sell it. So Shopify.com has really been a popular place, um, especially if you have, you know, some just some ready-made product to sell. You can set up your store and be in business overnight, basically. So that's pretty cool. So, okay, again, in review, taskrabbit.com was the one for your local neighborhood, house cleaning, deliveries, shopping, things like that. Uh, Fiverr was F-I-V-E-R-R.com is the $5 per task place where you can either uh, earn some money, get your foot in the door to get bigger projects, or you can actually use them to help you. If you're not so tech savvy and need a little help there, you might be able to find someone to help you uh, cheaply. Elance.com, again, for more programmers, developers, designers, but for writers and marketers and people like that too, uh, you can earn some good money over there. And Odesk is another version of that. You state your rate and you can have big projects, small projects, things that are short or ongoing, individual or team projects, all kinds of stuff over there. You could also use Etsy for arts and crafts for anything you can sew or make, anything that's handmade is, is an automatic, you should check out etsy.com. And that's etsy.com. And then Shopify, if you want a ready-made store that already has all the e-commerce set up and the website, everything all ready for you to go, shopify.com is a really simple, simple way to make some extra cash. So those are the ways to make extra cash if you're a little bit tech savvy your action step for this week is to write in your wealth journal what you would do for quick cash which one of those would you do or do you have another idea and if you do i'd love to hear about it on uh, either the comment section or you can go to my website and click contact us and send me a little email about it or you can post it in the reviews. You can let us know uh, some, different, some different websites that you know of in the reviews section. And I really do appreciate those reviews, ratings and reviews that I know it takes just a couple minutes of your time, but it means so much to me and it really does help the show get more visibility. So if you like the show, the best thing you, you can do for me is to write a rating and review. I'd really, really appreciate that. So what you learned today are the easy ways to get cash, simple talents for big bucks, and new websites for making money. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.